Hi brethren, um, another message, another comforting message uh, for the church, uh, especially in the days that we live in. Uh, it is the 1st of May and I would like to um, bless all of you with this message that God has put on my heart. And it's for all of us to encourage us in such evil times that we're living in. Uh, we, we are in uh, very, very uh, evil days. We have uh, been sown a lie, the biggest deception uh, certainly that has come across uh, the whole globe, across the whole world. And if we can't see that, we need to get back, we need to get into our prayer closets. We need to repent and we need to be able to see, ask God where we are at. Okay, this is the most deceptive time um, on the face of the earth. Um, and it reminds me of when Adam and Eve were deceived. They, they, you know, that was the population at the time when they were created. But now it's everybody except those who are awake, those who can see, those who are connected to the Lord, who have not neglected Bible prophecy. OK, that was the key. That's the key. Not to neglect Bible prophecy. It's one of the it's one of the, uh, the, 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 the things that in the book of Thessalonians we're told not to despise prophecies. Okay, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, do not despise prophecy. So let's move on. The title of this message is Jesus is coming sooner. Jesus isn't just coming soon, he's coming sooner than we think. He's coming very quickly. The Bible tells us that the Lord will come quickly. He's coming sooner than we think. And therefore I've called the title, Jesus is coming sooner. Does it matter when he will come? Of course it matters. Because, my brethren, uh, there is the seven-year Great Tribulation, and if Jesus doesn't come before that, there will be no flesh uh, alive. There will be no flesh to save. Everybody will die during the Great Tribulation, because the Bible tells us that it will be like a time never before. And, how, and, and the, the Word of God tells us in, in the book of Matthew, had God not shortened those days, no flesh would survive. So we need to know the timing of the Lord's return so that we can be comforted. And that's why in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, God tells us to use the message of the rapture or the harpezo as a comforter. And today I want to comfort you. Um, yes, we're in lockdown. We're still in lockdown, but we're not locked away from God's word. We can open God's word and we can, we can meditate on these scriptures and be comforted. Let's move on. Right, we're going to be looking at the 24 elders, and this is what the Lord showed me over the last four or five days. He's been showing me that the 24 elders are, 24 elders are key to understanding the timing of the Lord's return for the church, the rapture, the rapture of the church, the harpazo. Why 24 elders and who are they? Okay, so why do we need to look at the 24 elders? Well, the Word of God tells us clearly that these 24 elders are going to be in heaven. And we're going to look at the scriptures and find out who they are. And so that we can be encouraged as we open the Word of God. So why 24 elders? Well, there are. we are told in the Word of God that these are, um, I believe, uh, men of faith. Uh, uh, people of faith, men and women, but these, these are people who, who are of faith, okay? They are made up of the 12 tribes of Israel, I believe, and the 12 apostles. The 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles. Um, the 12 tribes of Israel uh, referring to the Old Testament saints, the 12 apostles referring to the New Testament church, the New Testament saints. And one thing that connects them together is faith. We're told in the book of Romans that Abraham was justified by faith. So, my friends, what, what, as we look at the scriptures, we will see that the saints of old and the saints uh, 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 of the, uh, that were part of the church will be resurrected together and caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And I'm excited about this message. Right, who are the 24 elders? Well... Wow. They, who are they? Let's have a good look. Here's a lovely picture of showing us the 12 uh, bowing and worshipping on this side with thrones behind them. There's the thrones and 12 on this side and uh, the thrones on, on behind them there. Right, we're t we've got at least, we've got there 12, um, um, 
12 instances, occasions where the 24 elders are mentioned and they are heaven dwellers. They are heaven dwellers. Remember that when we are looking at this study, these are those who dwell in heaven. Okay, so there's the scriptures and references. If you want to pause the video, you can have a look at these yourself. But we are going to go through some of those um, this in this teaching. Okay, the 24 elders cannot be angels. I had a minister say to me, a dear minister who I love, he said that the 24 elders are angels. Well, they can't be angels because according to Revelation chapter 7 verse 11, the Bible tells us all the angels stood ar around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God. There are angels there before the throne of God. There are elders, the 24 elders and the four beasts. So these four beasts can't be elders and neither are the four beasts the angels. These are separate entities. Angels, elders and four beasts. So the elders are not angels. Angels do not sit on thrones, and yet this scripture in Revelation chapter 3 verse 21 tells us, To him that overcomes will I grant to sit, to sit with me on my throne, even as I also overcame, and I am sat down with my Father in his throne. So we will be sitting on our thrones very shortly if we do not give up. As long as we continue in the faith, hold fast, overcome any sin, my brethren. We need to overcome any sin that we might be trapped in today. That's what the Lord wants us to do, to over be overcomers. Overcomers will have their place in heaven at the rapture of the church. The Lord will exalt us in due, in due time. He will. Look at this scripture in Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. This is a group of people that John the Apostle saw. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. So there is a group of people that John saw seated on thrones. And then there was another group of people that John saw. And, and the and is there, emphasized, I've emphasized that. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for their witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. These ones in the red are the ones on, left on the earth. The great tribulation saints, those who will come to know the Lord or repent of their sin. Those who had their garments washed. Okay, uh, uh, These are the ones who were ready. These are the ones in heaven. Okay, at the top, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Okay, so there's a dif there's a there's a difference between the first uh, uh, what what John saw here, and then what John saw there. I saw, and he says, and I saw. So this could have been a completely different uh, line, but it's not. They're both found in Revelation chapter twenty, verse four. Uh, it probably would have been better if this was uh, separated, but it hasn't been. But I've highlighted it in red to show you that there is a distinction. There is a separation of, of even though they are both saints, the first group were ready. They are sat down. They are resting. That's what I'm going to show you today. That sitting on upon a throne in heaven is resting from our labours. That's what God's going to do for you and I if we keep our, our faith until the end. He that endures till the end shall be saved. Praise be to God. Right, let's move on. Uh, I hope I haven't missed the scripture there. No. 24 elders are seated. They are resting, as I've just said in the previous uh, um, slide. They are resting. To sit down is to rest from our labours, my friends. And, and round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders. What were they doing? Sitting on their seats. We find out these seats are not just normal seats. They are thrones. The Bible tells us that we will reign with Christ. That uh, The Bible tells us in the book of Peter that we are, we are kings and priests unto God. That we haven't reigned yet, but we shall reign. Future tense. So we will 
be seated, my brethren, if we do not give up. We need to carry on following the Lord Jesus. We need to remain under the blood. How do we remain under the blood of Christ? By he, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin, as found in the epistle of John. So, that was from Revelation chapter 4, verse 4. They are seated, okay? And the book of Daniel and uh, the book of Hebrews, the Old Testament and the New Testament, other references outside of Revelation, also confirm that there is a day of rest. There is a day when the seats will be put in place and we will occupy, occupy those seats very shortly, my brethren. So take comfort don't look at what's going around on around you. Don't worry about all these uh, viruses that they're talking about, the, the, the COVID-19 virus and this virus and, and whatever is coming. You keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus. And there we have a lovely picture of uh, the throne in heaven. Uh, 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 a little depiction of Almighty God there. But there they are, they're seated. They are resting from their labours, 12 on this side, 12 on that side, and we have the four beasts uh, in, in this picture as well. Okay, so that is a little bit of an illustration to, just to help you to see the, 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 the picture in heaven. Why is Yeshua reseated, I've put on here? Well, if you look at this text from Daniel chapter 7 verse 9, it says, And I beheld, I looked, until... The thrones were set up, or set down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Okay, so the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and as hair, as, as his, uh, uh, the hair of his head was like the pure wool, and his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Now, this uh, illustration or description of the Ancient of Days matches that in Revelation chapter 1 verses 14 to 15 which are uh, depicting or giving us an illustration of the Lord Jesus Christ. He that was dead is alive forevermore. So here, the Ancient of Days here is fitting this description of Jesus. It is the picture of Christ. Okay, now what he, he said, I beheld until the thrones were set down or set up and the Ancient of Days did sit. Well, we know that the Ancient of Days did sit when he, uh, we know that Jesus, after he died on the cross, uh, he did sit down at the right hand of the Father. We know that. But I want you to look at the next verse, because the next verse helps us maybe to rethink of why did Jesus, or why does the Ancient of Days need to sit down? And I'm going to suggest that he got up he gets up from that right, right, uh, from the right hand of God to go and collect his bride. That's when he will come and collect his bride, get up off out of his seat, come and collect us, and then go back and sit down. Wow, praise God, that's what I believe. Because verse 10, uh, commencing from, from verse 9 of Daniel chapter 7, tells us that a fiery stream, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him, before the Ancient of Days. And what? look what's in front of him now. Thousands and thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. This is again a good picture of Revelation chapter 5. Where the church is before the living God. Okay. So and the judgment or the court was set and the books were opened. So what I'm going to suggest is that the reason why the Lord Jesus was reseated is because he comes on the clouds and he comes to collect us into the clouds and take us home to be seated, to rest with him, to rest from our labours. Praise be to God. And there's a good picture of the great multitude before the throne of God, um, all glowing uh, with the glory of God, okay? We will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Take comfort, my brethren. The days are evil, but we will soon be delivered. Okay? Yes, there is persecution of, of saints today, and that persecution will continue until the day the Lord Jesus Christ comes. But take heart. We will, we will see the Lord. 
very shortly. The dead in Christ shall rise first, then we who are alive shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and forever shall we be with the Lord. Comfort one another with these words. So the 24 elders have white robes, and we, we find that in Revelation chapter 4, verse 4. It tells us, And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. Okay, they were worshippers. The there we are in Revelation chapter 4 verse 10. They were also worshipping God. They have white robes and they are worshipping God. They worship, worship him that liveth forever and ever found in Revelation chapter 4 verse 10. We, and there's a lovely image I found of us. Uh, uh, when we get there, we will uh, be bowing before the Lord God. Uh, you can see a few thrones there, little thrones there. But, and... Uh, and we can see they are casting their crowns before the Lord. And that's what we will see in this scripture. Why, would, why um, where does it say that we will cast our crowns? Well, in Revelation chapter 4 verse 10, it tells us, And their crowns, and they cast their crowns before the throne. Okay? They cast their th crowns before the throne, saying, Blessed Blessed is, the, is our Lord God Almighty. That's what we will be crying out. We'll be crying out that salvation and it belongs to our God. How wonderful he is. How great he is that he has redeemed us by his precious holy blood. Okay, so the elders had golden crowns. Now, let's, 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 there's an, the, the angels do not wear crowns. So they cannot be crowns. So the elders wear crowns. Another reason why the 24 elders are not angels, but they are the saints of old and new. The elders are in heaven before, before the loosing of, every, of any seal. Wow, this is a great revelation for us, brothers and sisters. Take, take heart. Listen carefully. The Bible tells us that the, eld uh, the elders are already in heaven in Revelation chapter 4 and 5 before Revelation chapter 6 where the seals are opened when Antichrist will take his seat. So here's the scripture. And one of the elders said, saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof Praise God, we are already, the 24 elders are in heaven before the loosing of the seven seals. Take comfort. Do not, uh, do not uh, be disheartened. Okay? Take comfort. We are going to be in heaven before Antichrist is crowned. And in the next scripture, you will see in Revelation chapter 6, this is that Antichrist will 